Hey guys, this is Nisha with Connection Kindly. I know you guys think that we have been missing in action, but um, I just wanted to pop in and um, let you guys know what we have going on. James is uh, cutting the backyard. And so I'll just kind of show you the things that we have going right now. Guys, please like, subscribe, and send us feedback and comment. Okay, guys, so a lot of things uh, have died back and we're trying to do uh, a cleanup, but I'll just show you what we have going on. Um, I finally had to just go ahead and, and start cleaning out the tomato bed because the uh, animals did not let us get one uh, tomato this year. So um, next year, I'm not gonna plant them over here anymore uh, so close to the fence. Um, you know, the, the squirrels have access because they can walk across the fence and they can get right to the bed. Um, this is the little bed of uh, sweet potatoes. It's still doing good. You know, those won't be harvested too much later. Um, these are the beds uh, that James got cleaned out um that had the greens we're going to plant some more greens for the fall so that's going to be in these two beds um i did go ahead and clean out the tires you know these two had uh zucchini uh in them um you know they were finished bearing we did uh start some more um some more zucchini and squash so that we can plant uh for the fall so once those seedlings um you know grow up we will be putting those out my um yellow watermelon the baby watermelons i never got a chance to get one because um the animals uh ate those as well um the strawberries are holding on and like i said those i do want to transplant to a new home soon so let's go down the hill and see what we have going on my banana trees are doing good i had to get over there they had this vine kind of growing all around them. I had to clean those up, but my goal is to get the uh, tires and line them up and plant banana trees so that they can grow big and create a, like a natural fence line. Um, the mint is doing absolutely wonderful. It's grown all out of the container. Uh, that mint makes great tea. Um, the flowers look good. And down there, um, it's James' little uh, blueberry patch. So we haven't been able to get any blueberries. I don't know how long those have to grow. So let's take a look. Let's walk around, make sure I'm careful. Creek is looking good. The creek swelled not too long ago. So the ground is a little bit soft. When that creek swells, it comes up here around the deck. Um, in those brown containers, you know, we had uh, squash over there. We've cleaned those out. This is the mullein plant and it's dried out, but hopefully um, these will drop lots of seeds and grow some nice, healthy mullein here. Um, you guys remember my uh, banana tree? I mean, not my banana tree, sorry about that. My elephant ears, look how pretty. And as you can see, I put this in two tires uh, for a reason, because when the creek swelled not long ago, the water came all the way up and so um it was still the plant was still able to be okay um because we have have it planted in the tire so that was one of the purposes of me putting it in the tire but as you can see um the elephant ears are beautiful and that the plant there is beautiful as well okay so um as you can see, I've got my <laughs> my um my little uh guys my little green pepper plant there is all wrapped up with um, the cucumber vine. Now let me zoom back out. I planted four uh, plants, guys, and I probably should have been trimming these bad boys back. But as you can see, all of this is my cucumber vines and they have grown here and all the way over there so i'm just gonna check really quick while i'm down here talking to you guys to see if i've got anything in the jungle next year i think i'm just gonna do a couple of plants because they grow so much but as you can see it's a little baby right there it's not ready um we've got one 
back here is pretty good size. So we'll grab that one. We're gonna just step over the vines. And this is from back here. As you can see, we have vines everywhere. We've got uh, another small one. I'm gonna let that one grow a little bit. Guys, I was able to put up about um, eight jars of pickles um, so far. Mason jars of pickles, my first year trying pickles. Um, and everybody says they were great. All right, guys, so let's take a look in here. See if um, we've got anything. Looks like back here. Uh, hold on, guys. I'm trying to hold the camera. All right, look at there. All right. So we got that one. Let's take a look and see. Guys, these bugs are terrible. So disrespectful. Okay, I'm going to go over here. Okay, and the vines have come all the way over here as well i'm just gonna come over here and uh just lay the cucumber here for right now as i look for more i'm gonna move this guy this was our uh pepper plant that didn't do very well and as you can see before i go back down i got some little baby cucumbers i mean bell peppers going but the cucumbers have infested them they've even grown up around my tomato so next year gonna do something different with these cucumbers but let's just look in here and see what we have got a small one there we'll let that one continue to grow all right guys oh look here oh boy look Woo. all right so we're gonna grab this one look at that all right might be able to make some more pickles, huh? That's another one. Okay, so I'm gonna go back down. Whew. While I'm up here, before I go back down on the cucumbers, these are the uh, sweet potatoes. Um, I did trim them back some, but um, they grow like crazy. Once again, those leaves are edible. Um, while I'm up here, uh, these are the purple hull peas. The animals ate them up, guys. So <laughs> they have been uh, so bad this year. They have not letting us get too much of anything. But let's go back down and see. Got to be careful. See if we have some more cucumbers. And then we'll finish the tour. Okay. Whoop. Guys, one thing I've learned, gardening is definitely a learning experience. Okay, so I'm just kind of pulling this back a little bit see if we have any more cucumber don't see anything there James got back here and had the weed eat we had a lot of rain and that encouraged a lot of growth with the grass and the weeds and stuff okay guys do you see anything oh uh, let's take a look hopefully nothing jumps out at me Okay, so I think we are good. So we'll just move on. Okay. All right, guys. This is our last squash plant. And as you can see, it's crawled all the way out of the tire. We got a little guy here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab him. Got a good size here. All right. Got that one. Okay. This uh, plant here was another squash plant and uh it's just about dead but still kind of barren so we've got the squash here go ahead and grab that so while we're over here uh this is the okra look how pretty so i think we put too many plants in here so next year we'll put just a, a few James has made it back. He's been cutting the yard. Say hi, James. Hey, He's tired. tired. He's been working, y'all. Okay, so this bed here is more um, purple hull peas. We're going to clean this out yeah, because the animals did not let us get anything. James mm -hmm. is grabbing mm -hmm. the other squash well, for me. We got squash plant for the fall. Yeah, I told him about it. 
We got some good, uh, here, just I, stick I it in. The chair okay, you James is going to put that up for me. So, guys, the uh, James went ahead and also cleaned out the um, the watermelon uh, patch because um, the animals ate all his watermelon. So, so um, he said next year we'll probably just not worry about um, getting uh watermelons planted because we can get them here in the south readily we don't have to worry about it um this plant kind of looks a little whatever but look it's still barren so i'm not gonna clean this one out just yet okay so i showed you guys those james has these um i think these are, are your habaneros. habaneros look he's got little peppers all over and he made them a jar or two here's an orange one down there guys yeah, they turn, yeah, turn orange. He wants this one. See there? And those are hot. I haven't tried them because I don't like pepper. But stop. Shame, shame. You eat it. You eat uh -uh. it. Okay. So uh, he's got peppers everywhere. And um, they have been doing great. So James made him some pepper sauce. And then here is his um, jalapeno plant. He's got a good size one here. I'll go ahead and pick that one for him. Here you go, James. And let's see if we see any more. Okay. All right. So, guys, we are in the midst of cleanup um, and, you know, trying to put stuff out for the fall. But I just wanted to pop in and let you guys know. Um, the peach tree, uh, we will be pruning that. Uh, we did some research, and I think that the it would bear better if we would go ahead and prune it. So, we did learn about that. So, we'll be doing that soon. Uh, I showed them. <laughs> So next year, um, like I said, we're not going to plant as many uh, cucumber plants. Because I only did four, but guys, they are absolutely crazy. So, um, But that's what we have going on. James, you want to say anything to anybody? You guys, let us know what you guys are doing for your fall crop. We're going to do... Um, we're going to do greens. Uh, we're going to plant some more squash and zucchini. And um, trying to... Yeah, trying to think of something else. Um, that I can plant for the fall that we haven't you know, tried before. Uh, you know, you plant cabbage in the fall. Cool yeah. crop. Cabbage, yeah. Uh, so, collards. right. So let me just show you guys what we got while we were out here giving you the tour. So we got, um, yeah, the garfish. So we got the uh, zucchini. I mean, not the zucchini, the squash. Got a couple peppers, and we got three uh, nice sized cucumbers. So everything is good. Yeah, James is going back down. It's some small cucumbers out there. They still need to grow. Yeah, he'll go behind me and check. But I did dig all in the jungle. Now I'm itching. But, uh, <laughs> right. But guys, uh, be blessed. And, um, you know, we just wanted to let you guys know what we had going on. Um, like I said, we're in the process of uh, cleaning up. And I, like I said, my goal is to get more tires over here. And to plant those, um, to plant those banana trees and create a nice little uh, barrier over there. So that'll be fun. But all right, guys, we'll talk to you again soon. James, say bye. See y'all later. All right, guys, we love you guys. Take care. Bye.